Hey everybody, so Montreal and Philadelphia played game four of the 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs uh, in round one, and the results weren't really great for Montreal. It was a 2 nothing, lo a two -nothing loss to uh, the Flyers, second game in a row with a shutout um, uh, for the Flyers and Carter Hart, an interesting stat, which I wrote it for later in this video, but since I mentioned it now, uh, Carter Hart is the first, uh, is the youngest goalie since uh, Harry Lumley in the 1940s to get back-to-back -back shutouts in the playoffs. So that's an interesting stat for uh, Hart. So this was a bit of a boring game. Um, it wasn't even when Montreal needed to push or Philadelphia. Well, Philadelphia didn't seem to need to push to to get a goal, but uh, it didn't get exciting. There wasn't any big point in this game where there was, uh, you know, like a second period of game two. Um, game three, there was some. Po uh, game one, there was some uh, really exciting points. This one didn't really have that. And when a team uses the trap, usually it's like that. So uh, turning the other way, we'll check out first period. As you can see, not much written there. And I'll just say, if you were at my live stream or you entered the contest in my preview video, no guess the score contest winner today. So there is nothing written after that except the goal, the first goal of the game, because not much happened. And I watched the NHL highlight video, and they also had like one thing before this goal. So I just, I left that out. 6:32, Michael Raffle makes it one nothing for the Flyers. The second goal of the game from Kuturi and Voracek. Uh, there's a turnover in the uh, neutral zone. Ha the Flyers transition, and uh, Kuturi crosses the line, drop pass to Raffle. And Raffle takes the shot, and it's a wrist shot. It beats the screen Price, and on the replay, you can see Price. I don't think he saw it till it was, like, right here. I'm just about to pass him. So no chance on, on that on the screen shot. Usually he sees that. He, he sees those shots. I was a little surprised when I saw the replay that he really didn't see it. It, it kind of caught me as a uh, surprise that he's usually really good at tracking the puck, but he couldn't see it there. Uh, at 8:30, KK takes takes a tripping call on uh, Myers. Um, now, not this isn't on the actual power play. Um, Flyers miss on an open net. I remember the um, the uh, announcer saying, "How did they miss on that net?" I was actually getting something in the kitchen, and I didn't see it, and I didn't pay enough attention during the the replay video. So sorry about that. Uh, Byron misses at the corner at the crease on a rebound. Uh, and it goes over the net, so he gets a shot. I don't remember who took the shot, and it hits the stick. I don't know what happens. It was like a redirect, but it pops over the net instead. It's a bad, um, bad luck. Uh, Flyers in on a two-on-one. They can't finish. That's right at the end of the period. Shots on goal, seven for Montreal, ten for the Flyers. Uh, no power plays for Montreal. One, uh, they went over one of the Flyers on the power play. Second period. Uh, hoping now for a sec good second period since the first was really flat, and hopefully Montreal will come out better. Suzuki in the right slot, a weak attempt on a good chance. He has a good opportunity, and he gets off this weak shot, but it just I don't know what happened there. Uh, action starting to pick up with 12 minutes left. Montreal's getting more. Um, they're, get, they're getting more chances. They're, it's, it's, the pace is picking up a little bit, so it's not like uh, the game three where Montreal just never got it going. But here it looks like they might be getting it going and getting some chances. So a good chance by Kulak, a shot from the left circle, doesn't get through. Habs finally getting some sustained pressure. This is true. I don't think in the game three they got any sustained pressure at all on Philadelphia. And here they're getting a little bit, not in, in not like not like five minutes at a time, but you know, they're getting a little, little bit there. So that's good to see. Hopefully they'll build on that. Uh, Habs uh, pass flyers and shots. So at this point, it's 12-11 in shots. In the first period, Philadelphia was up by three, four shots on Montreal. And they, are, they come back and they stay ahead for the rest of the way. So Montreal's pushing back now a bit. And, um, and you know, you're kind of hoping something's going to happen here. Maybe they'll tie it up and uh, they'll get themselves back in the game. Doesn't really happen, right? Um, Price is almost impaled by a flyer stick. And he gets it in the neck. The stick, the, the guy, his stick gets away from him and it... It gets in here, I guess, this into his neck, and it sticks out over there, and he has to hype up himself. He doesn't get cut or anything. He's fine. I mean, no penalty on the play, nothing like that. But it's something you don't see very often. Uh, at, 11, at 11 minutes, Lawton trips Lekkanen, has on the power play, and there's no power play goals in this game by either team, so that'll tell you what happened on the power play. Tatar comes back to tip away uh, a puck on a flyer two-on-one 
shorthanded attempt. So if he doesn't get in there, I think uh, that's a goal because the guy had a pretty much open net. But uh, uh, he gets in. It was almost a two-on-one because Tatar was sort of there. And then he does get in. He gets his stick in there and just in time. And it deflects the puck over the other guy's stick. Uh, Hayes leads a three-on-three. -three. Price, uh, he tracks the puck well this time, and he makes a good save. Petrie fires a bomb from the blue line. Hart gets a piece of it, and uh, then it hits the post. So he gets a piece of it with his pad right around the toe, and instead of directing it into the corner, it actually just it flicks off the post and goes in the corner. Uh, so, and you can hear someone yell just before uh, he takes that shot. You can hear someone yell, let her go, and boom, he takes the shot. It was really funny. I wrote, you know, someone yelled, let her go. And he did. Um, I also noticed Suzuki, Tatar, and Jake Evans on the same line uh, for at least a shift. I didn't notice if they got another shift out of that or not. At 17.04, Myers gets his second goal from, uh, from Konechny and Hayes make it 2 nothing for the Flyers. So Myers shoots a puck. Um, I think he's at the right face-off circle. And it... it um, it ticks off the, the, the Habs defender off his stick. It just ticks off the stick a little bit, makes a wobbly puck like that. And that causes uh, Price, I don't know, he misplayed it. I don't know why. He, did he think it was going to go elsewhere and he was committed to going with the pad? Anyways, what happens is it hits his body, rolls up his stick, hits his hand on his blocker, and goes in the net. So, is that a bad goal? Is that... I don't know. I thought it was a bad goal, honestly. I thought it was a bad goal. I wrote that there, bad goal. Uh, Habs push for a goal. They get like three, four quick shots on Hart. Nothing goes in. Kulak gets another shot. Um, it's a one-hopper, so he's firing, I think, from the blue line. And it sort of like a blooper hops off the ice. Uh, Hart makes the save. Um, so better play by Montreal in the second period. And uh, they'll, that bad goal against, and that's the tells you everything. Uh, shots on goal, Montreal 10, Philadelphia 5. Power plays, it's the opposite. Montreal 0 for 1, Philadelphia no power plays. Third period opens up very early on. Uh, Hay blocks a Weber shot with his head, <laughs> sort of. It kind of glances off his head. So he's like going down, and the, the puck comes in and glances off the bottom of his helmet and his ear. But he's okay. He stays in the game with no problem. Because uh, you take a, a Weber shot off the... <laughs> The head, you're not staying in the game. Lekin in, can't get Weber's pass. He's at the crease. Beautiful opportunity to get a, a, a shot coming in or a pass, and he could have tipped it in, but he doesn't even get a stick on it. Interesting stat Habs haven't won in the return to play if they don't score first, and they didn't score first. So it didn't look good, and it's third period, and it's not looking good. Deneau blocks a pass in front of Hart. The puck bounces up, and uh, Deneau swipes at it, and he, he connects, and uh, Hart has to make a really quick save. Domi ices the puck to nullify a line change, uh, and he's the one, one of the guys needs to get off, and he, he throws it, he ices it instead of, you know, a nice soft little shot, something let the guys change. No, so he does that. Um, that's, that's the problem with Domi in uh, his not being responsible defensively. These are some of the things like that. 1020, Mete high sticking on Couturier. Nothing happens. 1318, Myers tripping on KK. Montreal does nothing. Suzuki fires that laser to the top corner. Hart makes a nice save. Uh, comes down to the ice, kind of smothers it. There's a bit of a scrum there. Uh, he comes up with a sore hand, it seems. He has to shake it off. And in the scrum, Gallagher was uh, trying to get up from being down, and someone pushed him on his head to get down. He didn't take to that kindly, and that's what the scrum is. Um, Sherrod at 16 minutes. With four minutes left, Sherrod takes a delay of game over the glass. And not necessarily his fault he didn't do it on purpose, but not a great time for that. Price pulled in with 120 left, and uh, the Habs get a, a really close chance with 50 seconds left. I don't, didn't write down who it was, but nothing, and uh, that's it. Shut out, second shutout in two games for uh, Philadelphia. It's 2 nothing Flyers. Hart, the youngest goalie since Harry Lumley in the 40s with back-to-back -back shutouts, so that's something. Um, shots on goal, 29 for Montreal, 22 for Philadelphia. Face-off percentage, 35% for Montreal. That's it. That's a bad stat. That's a big contributor to them not being successful tonight. 
65, obviously, 65% for Philadelphia. 0 for 2 on the power play, 0 for 3 for Philadelphia on the power play. 37 hits for Montreal, 26 hits for Philadelphia. So they outshot, uh, out hit Philadelphia again, but didn't help. And uh, that's it. Three stars of the game. Number one, Carter Hart definitely had a good game. Um, he hasn't given up a goal in two games. Uh, definitely deserves a star. Uh, number two, Alan Vigneault, well coached game. Yeah, he doesn't skate, but it was a boring game, trap style. Nobody really deserved another star other than Carter Hart, in my opinion. So I gave it to Vigneault, and I gave the third one to the rest of the Flyers. And that's it. Next game, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, if you want to tune in for my live stream, that's at 7.15 for the pregame. And, uh, yeah, that's tomorrow. And um, by the looks of it, this, this series is probably going to be over tomorrow. I can't see Montreal coming back from this. I just, I can't. And um, I kind of predicted that if Philadelphia was going to win, it's going to be in five games. And that's game five is tomorrow. So uh, hopefully I'll see you there at the live stream. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can head down there at the same time and leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, who would you give them the three stars to? And uh, what do you think of this game? What do you think their chances are for tomorrow? And let me know that in the comment section. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring that notifications bell. That's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talk and Habs. And that's it. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching. All that good stuff. And I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody.